Okay, I uh, had somebody ask a question about uh, this lesson from Unit 6 on uh, creating a horizontal line. What I've gotten done here before we started the video is I took the instructions for the starter code. I just pasted that straight in. That's a good thing to always do. If they give you starter code, just copy and paste that in exactly, saves any typing errors. Then also I had to create the function horizontal line. Notice I have to be very careful that it's typed correctly and it wanted my horizontal line to have two parameters, one for length and one for um, the, start, uh, the starting position. Uh, so I'm going to have the horizontal line, that's the Y coordinate, and the length. Now it did tell you, uh, if you look at, if we uh, look at our direct, in your directions, it was specific that the Y position needed to come before the length. It's very important you keep the order of your parameters in the same order it gives you in the directions. Otherwise, when you go to uh, check your code, the grader will not check it off correctly. So you've got to follow the details. Good habit, especially if you're ever programming in a team or a business environment. But uh, let's go ahead and try this horizontal line. What I'm going to need is I'm going to need a variable, actually. That's called a line. And for lack of creativity, I'll just name my line variable line. And then to create a line, I'm going to have, an, have to have an object. So a new line, and then the line object is going to take some parameters. I'm going to start by just trying to see what happens if I do a line with a Y and a length and see if that works. Then my line, I will need to give it a width. So I'm going to do a set line width. And I'm just going to set my line width of one. That gives me a nice skinny line. And then I want to uh, add the line to the canvas. So I'm going to uh, call my add function on the variable line, and that should add it to the canvas. We're going to run this and see what it ha what happens so far. So I'm going to run my code. And notice it gives me an error, but it's very nice with the error message that it tells me exactly how many parameters to expect. It's basically telling me I need a starting X and Y and an ending X and Y. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, say, well, this line is going to start at an X coordinate of zero. That should be the left edge of my screen like these lines over here have. And then it's going to start with a Y position of Y. That's whatever parameters is being passed in. Then the ending position I notice on this line will also be an X coordinate because it's moving horizontally. So that's why I'm going to move length as an X coordinate. And since it did not change vertically, my uh, Y coordinate is going to remain Y. So I'm going to have that zero Y length Y. Now we're going to try this code and see if it runs any better. Okay, and when it's done, it looks like it's a lot like what we just had. Let's check it to make sure the grader likes it. And it looks like it did. So that should help you with this. Anytime you're wanting to create some kind of a shape, though, whether it's a line or a circle or a polygon or whatever, you're going to have to declare a variable. And you can call it line, circle line, you know, uh, line one, circle one, whatever it is. Always use your new command to create a new object. Uh, pass in the appropriate parameters for that object. If you don't get the parameters right, it usually gives you a helpful error message to let you know what's going on. And then... Uh, you're going to have to uh, set your any other things you need to do, parameters you need to change about that object. You can change them to that instance, that variable of the object. And then always remember to add that variable to your canvas so you actually see it. Hope this is helpful to you and have a great day.